everyone welcome to this updated video i really hope you're doing fantastic this morning now the focus of this video will be on all of that activity we're seeing across parts of the u.s this is going to be growing as we head throughout the week and it is going to be impacting the caribbean some areas will experience a lot of heavy rainfall uh, which may even trigger flooding and there's going to be those winds kicking up even some tropical storm force winds and also that cool down expected but first things first i want to bring you guys to the latest in terms of seismic activity across the caribbean so over the past day or so there have been a couple of moderate earthquakes across the caribbean the most recent was actually last night offshore honduras the bay islands right there so it was estimated to be a magnitude 4.8 shaken so you can let me know if you felt it in the bay islands in honduras and even in other areas such as belize or even mexico you can let me know in the comments if you felt that one there have been a couple of weaker ones as well just offshore the dominican republic that was an estimated magnitude 3.7 and a couple of weaker quakes across puerto rico over the past 12 hours so overall there hasn't been any uh, anything too major however there was an estimated magnitude 4.9 yesterday in the early afternoon offshore trinidad and venezuela so it's been active seismically so just a reminder earthquakes are unpredictable they can happen at anywhere anytime so it's good to have you know those tips on what to do in the back of our mind so that when they do strike we can take immediate action to protect life as best as possible going on to weather conditions here we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery and this system as i said it's going to be our focus but uh elsewhere in the caribbean we're not seeing that anything crazy is happening right now maybe a few passing showers at the most and there's also some of that dust still lingering around but tomorrow heading into tuesday some of the lesser antilles may have a little break in the dust it's been around for a couple of days now but other areas such as hispaniola the abc islands puerto rico the virgin islands have also been experiencing some of that dust coverage it's going to loiter around a bit longer unfortunately and really this is the start of it for this year uh, these saharan dust plumes that move across the atlantic toward the caribbean and the americas they peak in july so we're going to be seeing a lot more of this and even denser plumes of dust across the caribbean region however let's go on to that rainfall forecast for today here we're looking at it from euro and it goes into early tomorrow morning really now we're seeing some of these more colorful shadings some of these burgundies and these reds popping up as well so at the maximum across parts of florida the bahamas even cuba there may be up to an inch or so of rainfall maybe a little bit over that so as all of that activity were, uh, that we saw earlier in the eastern Gulf of Mexico is going to further intensify. The rainfall is going to be shifting further to the east and the southeast as well. So there could be some decent rainfall. There may be some showers moving through parts of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, and the Turks and Caicos Islands today as well. Looking toward Puerto Rico, uh, the Virgin Islands, even parts of the Lesser Antilles, it may be a similar story. But things may be a bit drier in the southeast for Grenada, the Grenadines, St. Vincent, even Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, parts of Northern South America, and the ABC Islands. Also over towards most of Central America. So although some showers are possible today, it may be on the dry side for the most part. In terms of the run, Euro is showing with the movement of all that rainfall activity over the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And there we have the forecast time right up there. So this is a bit similar to the rainfall map which we just looked at. So those areas of those uh, oranges, reds, yellows indicate heavier rainfall. As we head into tomorrow, as I said, all this activity is going to be shifting further to the east, bringing more rainfall to the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, even for Cuba, the Cayman Islands, and a similar story for Jamaica. So there could be some increased rainfall activity across parts of Jamaica, even for Hispaniola, as we head through tomorrow evening going towards Tuesday. That frontal system intensifies, so we see all these colorful shadings across parts of Puerto Rico and even the Virgin Islands as well. This is going to continue further to the east. But as that frontal boundary is going to be passing through the Caribbean, that cooler air is going to be setting in behind it. So this is the temperature anomaly forecast as we're going to be heading into Wednesday of this week. So we're seeing these blue shadings which are indicating below 
average temperatures, meaning that temperatures are going to be a bit cooler than normal. And especially for those areas that will still be experiencing those overcast skies or even windy conditions, it's going to be felt for sure. So cooler temperatures on the way yet again. We had that last week and, and uh, things have pretty much been warming up. So another cool down is on the way for later this week. Well, around Tuesday going into Wednesday thereabout. In terms of the wind forecast, so on this map, the wind barbs are densely packed, so it may be a little bit difficult to see, but we're looking for the color here. As we are going to be heading into tomorrow, there we're seeing those winds kicking up across parts of the Northern Caribbean, the Bahamas, and even in the Gulf as well, offshore Central America, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, parts of Hispaniola, as well as Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and even toward the Lesser Antilles. Winds could be gusting up to 20 or over 20 knots or so. Eventually, we see some of these dark blue and green shadings popping up in the Caribbean. So those are tropical storm force winds moving through. So as that low pressure area develops to the north, those winds are certainly going to be kicking up across the region, especially as we head into early Tuesday. And it is going to remain quite windy through much of the week. And we definitely see some of those stronger winds offshore the southeastern U.S. So that is what Euro is forecasting. Winds are going to be kicking up. There's going to be some heavy rain across some areas, likely with flooding in some instances. Those cooler temperatures are going to be setting in as well. And seas are also going to be quite rough out there with the increase in those wind speeds. And so that is being reflected right now on this forecast from the GFS model. This is the forecast for early on Tuesday. We're seeing some of those orange and red shades. And so those seas could be up to 30 and even toward 15 feet in the Northwest Caribbean, the vicinity of the Cayman Islands. So it's going to be very, very unsettled out to their same story offshore the US and in the Gulf. And even as we head throughout the week, things are only going to get even more unsettled offshore the Bahamas and the southeastern U.S. as that low pressure area develops. And so guys, that is pretty much it for this update. And uh, just to recap, there have been a couple of moderate earthquakes. The strongest was an estimated 4.9 offshore Trinidad and behind that a 4.8 off uh, the Bay Islands of Honduras last night. So that's the latest on earthquakes. And in terms of weather activity, there isn't much happening across the Caribbean right now. However, things are going to get very interesting as the week goes on because that airflow pressure is going to be developing and impacting the region. So I'll keep you updated as necessary. And I really hope you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.